my check. to start out with a warm up, okay? I'm gonna start with 20 jumping jacks. Ready? All right, next up is push-ups. Ready, go, one. Good, actually I skipped air squats. So we're gonna go back to standing and air <laughs> squats. Good. Once we're done there, we are going to go back down and do some in the middle. All right. Ready? Once we're done there, we're gonna do our, our ups or our triangle shots, whatever you would like to call them. Make sure you lift your hips way up. Also, you can shoot a triangle if you'd like. Keep your back flat on the mat. Don't rock back and forth. Ready, go. All right, once you're done there, we're gonna go ahead and do our neck exercise. 20 chin to chest, 20 chin to each shoulder, and 20 ear to each shoulder. After our neck exercise, we're gonna do our bridges. All right, throw 
where the shoulder bridge is. All right, once you're done there, now's the time to bring in the partner if you have one, because we're gonna do our partner warm up. okay? So got a few things we're gonna be doing with our partner. And then after that, we're gonna be doing some leg attacks. Uh, if, you have, if you have a partner, that'd be great. If not, you can use a dummy. It'll work just fine for some, for some part. All right, so if my partner gets here, we're gonna do our, our Posture breaking. Just get a set of uh, just X twenty. Okay, there. All right, great. Start off nice and slow and build up the speed. Next up, arm bar to the guard. So it's just your basic arm bar from the guard. You want to pull the, pull the, your partner's arm with both hands. Make sure the elbow is across your center line. Foot on the hip, knee goes to the armpit. Throw your other leg over. Okay, it's just a warm up, okay? So you don't need to get the full finish. We're just setting it up, okay?
Next up, we're doing triangle shock. Okay, all we're going to be doing is pushing one hand to the stomach and pulling one hand towards you. As we do so, we're going to lift our leg over the shoulder and walk up the trunk. So, just part of the warm up. All right, so we're here. I'm going to push one hand to the stomach, pull one hand towards me. Push, pull. Leg over the shoulder, and you got yourself a triangle with some minor adjustments you want to do. Push, pull, push, pull. I'm exaggerating the motion of throwing my leg over the shoulder by opening my legs and going. So, in real time, you would want to stay as tight as possible. Last thing, part of the warm up, is going to be a single leg X, single leg X drill. Okay, so my partner here is going to stand up. There you go. All right, so my partner's going to stand in front of me. She's gonna spread her legs a little bit. Good. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to be underneath her like as if it's a mount, but she doesn't have her knees on the mat. Okay. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cup one ankle and I'm gonna bring my shin to the end to the inside of her thigh and I bring my heel to her hip. But at the same time I do that, I'm lifting my hips. I'm not just throwing my leg in there and keeping my hips on the mat. My hips stay on the mat. She, I'm not going to be able to uh, off balance her and have full control of the leg. So I'm going to do this and switch to the other side. Okay. My hands, they're not really gripping anything other than that first grab on the ankle to pull yourself closer. Whatever feels comfortable, you could grab, grab the knee or the ankle. And you're just going to switch from side to side. Down, lift your hips up, heel on the hip, inner shin, a shin on the inner thigh.
We're gonna go top to bottom now. Okay, so we're gonna start here. You're gonna cut the ankle, good. Lift your hips up, shin on inner thigh, other foot on the hip. Good, lift those hips up, good, just like that. Now you're gonna switch the other side, keep your legs down, don't let it hit the mat, keep your, keep your feet floating. Good, now go to the other side. Good, yep, inner thigh, good, just like that. Now go to the other side, good. Okay, go ahead, lift those hips up, good. Come on, lift them up. Good. There you go. We're just moving from side to side, okay? Go ahead. Look in here. Yep. Look in here. Put on the hip. Nice. It's harder to go that way. Okay. Just gotta work on it. Good. Now, let drop down. Cut the, the knee or the ankle. Pull yourself to this side. Good. Here, put on the hip. Good. Lift your hips up. Nice. There you go. Good. Just like that. Go ahead. So cup, shin on the inside, heel onto the hip. Good. Now you're gonna go the other side. Good. There you go. Nice. Good. Hips more up. Yes. There you go. Good. Good. Nice. Keep going. So that's it for the warm up. Next up, we're going to get into some technique now. For the next, uh, starting today, so for the next four classes will be all uh, leg attack oriented. So today we're going to go over um, single legged X, uh, entries, and foot lock grips or straight ankle lock grips. And if we have time, we can move on to something else, okay, with the single leg X. All right, so one second. All right, so just waiting on my partner. Go ahead and have a seat. So we're gonna do this at an angle so that we can see it on the camera. So from closer. So when uh, a lot of times people start with a double guard pull, Okay, people uh, both sit down, you end up in this position on a half of a sweep and you fall back down, okay? So we're gonna work on isolating one leg and when we isolate the leg, uh, we're gonna be able to attack the leg with the ankle lock or toe hold, toe press. Okay, so first things first, okay? I need to have my legs on the inside, okay? My legs are on the inside of my partner's legs here. This is having my legs on the outside, all right? So it's important that I have my legs on the inside in order for me to start moving forward, okay? How I can do so is by leg pummeling, okay? Okay, so we're here. I could cut the, the pant sleeve and I can swim my ankle in. But as soon as I do that, my partner is gonna try and keep her ankles on the inside. Just swim, she's gonna swim her leg in to prevent me from getting to the inside because she knows once I get to the inside, I'm gonna be able to start isolating, okay? That goes for the spar leg too. So if I start getting to the inside, both my legs here on the inside, my partner's gonna take this far leg and try and keep it on the inside. So that way I can't isolate it completely. So I would need to swim this leg in, all right? So put it over here. Good, okay, so we're gonna start here. Put your hands in front, put your hands. Good, okay, we're both double seated. I have both my legs on the inside, okay? I'm gonna pick a side I wanna attack. I'm gonna attack the side here close to the camera. I'm gonna cut the, cut the sleeve here. I'm gonna start pulling, shooting my leg through, and I'm gonna keep my leg, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep her leg on my hip and bring it up to my armpit here, okay? Now, as soon as I do so, I'm starting to slowly isolate the leg from the ankle on up, okay? Next thing I would need to do is pinch my knees, put my foot on her hip so that way she cannot uh, 
run away, okay? So let's say I just have the ankle, okay? And I'm not really controlling the knee. Yannette's gonna push my foot off of her hip and scoot her hips over my foot. Good, keep going, over all the way, good. So now I have her ankle, I could probably squeeze, but it's not gonna be that very tight. Now, I don't have enough leverage to get the finish. I don't have to, I don't have anything to push off of. Yes, I could follow her to the side and start going here, but that's not 100% uh, the best way I can do it, all right? So we're gonna start here, okay? One foot on the inside, one foot on the outside. Cup the ankle, I swim my foot, okay? As soon as I swim my foot in, I'm gonna shoot my leg through and I bring my hips as close as I can to my partner here, controlling the ankle, okay? Now, shin on the inner thigh, foot goes to the hip, okay? Once my foot goes to the hip, I'm gonna pinch my knees, okay? So now, if Yannette goes to push uh, my ankle off of her hip, yes, my foot will fall off, but I'm also controlling her knee now. I'm squeezing my knees together. So if she goes to hop over, I could follow her a little better. It's a little bit tighter because I'm pinching my knees together, okay? So keep that in mind when we're here. I grab the ankle, I shoot my leg through, I scoop my hips in nice and tight, I pinch my knees, foot on the hip. So that way, if she goes to push my foot off the hip, yeah, she pushes my foot off her hip, I'm able to still pinch my knees and she can't completely hop over my foot. Bring my foot back to her hip. Let's go to the side and let's go for the finish, okay? We'll go over the finish in a second, but let's switch sides. Okay, we'll try it right here in this angle. So, actually, okay. So, again, I have one foot out on the outside, I have one foot on the inside. Cut the ankle. If I have to rock to the side to open up my hip, that's fine too, okay? Get my, my inner, my instep behind her knee, kick my foot through, get nice and tight. I got the ankle, now I pinch my knees, I got my foot on her hip, okay? So once I'm here, if she goes to push my foot off of her hip, I'm able to still pinch my knees, okay? And she's not gonna go anywhere, all right? Again, so we're here. A nice little drill you can do at home. Let's say I cut Yannette's, Yannette's ankle here. I bring my foot to the inside. She tries to bring her foot to the inside. Then we go this way. Here, good. Cut my ankle. So if I'm here, I go to the inside, cut my ankle. Cut it. Good. And this one. Yes, there you go. And scoot your hips in. That's how you, that's how you get, uh, get your your body as close as you can to your partner, just like so, okay? So whoever's able to control the whole leg is gonna win the battle with the foot, all right? So you switch sides. So if I'm here grabbing this ankle, go ahead, up, swim your foot in, good. Go here, swim. All right, you wanna isolate the leg completely, all right? When you attack the ankle, you're not just attacking the ankle, you're controlling the whole leg. Controlling the knee all the way up to the hip. All right, now let's talk about finishing from this position, okay? So when we're in this position, when we're in this position, okay? I cup the ankle, shoot my foot through, get my knees nice and tight, and get my foot on the hip. Okay, how I'm gonna finish? I'm gonna pull my lapel down and I'm gonna grab it, okay? So it's always gonna be the far lapel. It's never gonna be the, the lapel that's closest. Why? Because you can't go all, you can't reach your arm all the way through around the foot and it's not gonna be tight, okay? You reach for that far lapel, you're able to pull it down and it gets nice and tight. If you pull, if you pull this lapel that's closest to you, there's a lot of room you got, okay? So we're here, I grab my own lapel, I'm pinching the knees, I got my foot on her hip, okay? I was on my elbow. I tuck my elbow down to my hip. Now I'm on top of my shoulder. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bridge off of her hip and I will get the tap, okay? Again, so we're here, we're in this double seated guard. All right, let's say, got one foot out. I'm able to get one foot in. I get nice and tight. 
I grab the foot, I grip my lapel. As soon as I get to my side, I should be bridging. Bridging means I'm extending my body away from her uh, with my foot on her hip. So I'm extending my body away. All right, again. So I got the, the foot here. Um, I got my leg position where I want it to be, foot on the hip, pinch the knees. Okay, I'm gonna extend away from my partner, all right? So now I'm gonna give my partner here a try to see if she can. Let's see. So I got both my feet here on the inside and that's gonna work to get one foot, or sorry, both feet on the inside, okay? So go ahead, whatever side you like. Good, good. Okay, so start okay. to, both of them, you want both of your ankles on the inside. You don't, you don't grab the side. Go ahead, swim it in, good. So now you wanna pull your hips to me, go ahead. Shoot this leg through. There you go. This foot stays on the inside. Okay. Now you need to overhook the foot. Good. You're gonna grab grab the far lapel. Good. Okay. Once you're here, grab it nice and tight. Put your foot on my hip. Pinch your knees. Good. Okay. You're gonna get to your shoulder. Now I want you to look away and bridge off of my hip here. Keep going. Good. So what you need to do here is you did everything correct. You need to take your hand with you, okay? Meaning when you're here, I got my foot on the hip, look at my hand, okay? So when I bridge, my hand comes with me. <laughs> what you were doing wrong was you were bridging, but your hand was staying here at the same place, okay? So let's go through it again. Go ahead, cut both hands, just cut one angle, good. Swim in, good, swim this one in, scoot yourself close, good. There you go. Nice. Pinch your knees. It's like the beginning, right? Yes. Good. Grip it nice and tight. Grip it. Good. Put on the hip. Now I want you to bridge and take this hand with you. Good. Good job. All right. Again, let's go again. All right. So both my feet are on the inside. Good. Cup the ankle. Swim your foot in. Shoot your body to me. Yes. There you go. This one goes here. All right, rip it nice and tight, nice and tight. Let's choke up on the foot. Let's run back a little, a little more, a little more, more. Go back, good, there you go. Now, I want you to get to your shoulder and bridge. Good. All right, do it again, but let's get lower on the foot, okay? okay. As low as you can go. So right here? Yeah, about right here. All right, go again. Here, I have both feet on the inside, all right. Swim, now let's say I do that, and swim again, good. All right, lower, lower, good. Now foot on the hip, now bridge, Tap. good. All right, so, you know, did a good job there executing the ankle lock. So just a little view again, cupping the ankle, swimming the foot to the inside. If I need to rock, that's fine. Now we got the foot isolated. We fall to the side. Choked up on the foot, grabbing my lapel, pinching the knees. You could use this hand here to push away. And you got yourself a nice little foot lock. All right. We'll move away from the camera so that way we're in full frame. All right. That's what I was doing wrong. I was spinning. Yeah, you got to bring it with you. That's what I said. You got to bring it. All right. So, okay. So next up, we're going to set up the single leg X. From Spider Guard. Yeah. All right, so. My partner here is going to be standing up. And we are going to start in spider guard, okay? So, when we're here, I have both sleeves, okay? I, have put, I, I like to keep double feet in the bicep, one straight, one bent, okay? If that makes sense, okay? My partner here is too close, so I'm going to kick her back a little. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Keep my right foot in her bicep. All right, so I'm gonna keep my left foot in her bicep, sorry. And I'm gonna put my right foot to the mat. 
when I put my right foot to the mat, I'm gonna use the sleeves to pull Yannette over my head. Okay, I'm gonna pull her over my head and I'm gonna straighten my leg, okay? So we're here, foot in the bicep. Okay, I drop one foot down, I pull, and I make Yannette take a step, okay? Again, let's go back, we're here, I go side to side, and when I'm ready, foot on the mat, I bridge, I pull, and I straighten my leg, okay? Now, as soon as I get Yannette to take a step forward, if you notice, her foot is right here in my armpit, okay? So let's go back. Again, we're here, Just got the spider guard gone, I put my foot on the mat, I bridge, and I pull, okay? As soon as I get her to take that step forward, I bring my leg from the inside out, foot on the hip, and I extend my leg a little bit, so that way I'm able to bring my left foot in, okay? So again, let's go back, we're here. Pull. I make her step, foot to the hip. I extend my right leg. I get more room. I'm able to bring my left shin to the inside. Okay? Again. We're here. I got the net and spider. Okay, I'm going back and forth. Get some set of omoquadas. Where I'm going to put my foot on the mat. Make her take a step forward. As soon as she does so, my foot goes to her hip. I bring my right hand to the ankle. I extend my right leg to push her away. So that way I have more room for this left leg to go on the inside. Okay, so I push, drop down, my left shin to the inside. Okay, and now with this right hand, I'm overhooking her foot for an ankle lock, but I'm grabbing my lapel, okay? I'm staying nice and tight, just like we worked on that uh, ankle lock from double seated. It's the same grip, same foot position, but now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uh, knock her down so that way I'm able to get a, a foot lock finish, all right? So we're here, I take my uh, left leg that's on her inner thigh. It's gonna cut her far thigh. I drop my foot that's on her hip to the inside here. So now it's like I'm playing an X star, okay? It goes from single leg X to regular X star, all right? So we're here, we're gonna go back, starting with the inner, the leg on the inner thigh. It goes to her far inner thigh. My right leg drops and comes right underneath, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to extend both of my legs. And as I extend both of my legs, I'm gonna turn to my right. Extend and I turn to my right. Okay, now once I get to this position, I step back over with my left leg and I put it off of her hip. Okay, so again, we'll do it from a different angle. All right, we're here. Let's go over the setup again. So we're here, got my foot in her bicep. I bridge, I make her step. Overhook the foot, foot goes to the hip. I extend there, so that way I have more room to get this leg in here, all right? Once I'm here, I'm gonna take my, my leg that's on her inner thigh, it's gonna go to the far side. This leg's gonna follow, and follow her to the inner thigh on the other side as well. Next up, all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna extend my legs, and I'm gonna turn to the right, extend, Turn to the right. Now I got her knocked down. I'm gonna take this leg here and I'm gonna step on her hip and bridge. All right, let's do it again, come over here. Again, we're here. Got my feet on the hip. I wanna go to spider, okay. Kick out a leg, do what you're doing. Go on from side to side. Bridge, trap the ankle, foot goes to the hip, okay? Grab my own lapel, I push her away, my leg follows, all right? Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to the far leg, this right leg is gonna fall up, 
I extend my legs and go to the right. Okay, as soon as I get her to fall on her butt, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my left leg and I'm gonna step on her hip. Go belly down, finish the ankle. All right. Let's see if you can get it. We'll work on the setup first, all right? Stays here. Good. Bridge and look away. Keep going. Good. You need to go a little bit lower on the ankle. Okay, it felt tight, but you were up here. You need to go down here. Okay, let's do it again. Go ahead, put in the bicep. go. This one goes to the inside. Nice. So you let go here, uh -huh. grab your own lapel, pull down. Okay. Nice and tight. Good. Reach high. Grip higher with this hand. Good. Okay. Now once you're here, good. Okay. I'll work. keep this leg up. Keep your hips up. Good. Now you're going to take this shin on the far side. That one follows. Extend your legs. Good. Goes to my hip. And bridge, bridge, bridge. Good, almost tight. Nice. Let's do it again. Let's go for the back. All right, again. Good. Nice. Good. Drop down nice and low. Nice and low. Good. Hips up, good, okay, once you're here, yep, there you go, there you go, extend, more, 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 good. This one goes to the hip, good, nice, good job. Don't hold your breath, good job, let's do it again. you're here you need to stay up a little higher with your hips good keep your foot on my hip all right once you're here switch your legs good extend good okay now bridge and turn away turn your whole body all right good all right so those are two setups from open guard or sorry just two setups to the single leg x what we're gonna go over now is uh, footlock grips that I like to use, okay? All right, so real quick, let's see. Over here. So footlock grips I like to use when attacking the footlock. Go ahead, tear it up. Okay, we got options, okay? So the first one that I showed you guys was grabbing your lapel here, okay? Now, grabbing your lapel uh, and extending away. That one's probably my favorite. Okay, another one we have here, okay? Also, when doing a foot lock, you need to stay nice and tight on the ankle, okay? As close as you can to the heel, okay? Once we're here, you grab the lapel, 
extend and go. All right. Now, my second favorite would be the figure four grip. All right. So a lot of times I like to grab the, the pen with my cross sleeve here with my, with my cross hand. So that way they're not able to pull their foot away. So if I'm here, all right, and I'm just cupping the ankle or whatever, she's able to pull her heel back. So what I do here is I hold it, hold the sleeve with my hand, bring my other hand in, and now it's nice and tight. Or if she does pull it, I let her, but I stop her uh, to where the heel's in the correct spot, and I have my uh, blade of my wrist on her Achilles. My next grip, okay, so I get nice and tight. I'm gonna grab my forearm on my opposite hand. I grab my forearm, this hand here, is gonna be placed on her shin, okay? Once I'm here, the reason why I like doing this one is because when I place my foot on, or sorry, my hand on her shin, she can't lift her leg up. So if I'm here and I just uh, grip it, she's able to uh, bend her knee and her shin goes up. When I grip it like this, I put my, shin, my hand on her shin and I keep it pressed down. So that way she cannot lift up with her knee, okay? So we're here, I get the foot, grab my forearm, put my hand on the shin, I fall to the side, and as I bridge, I push down on the shin to keep it in place. So that way I'm completely isolating the leg here. All right, so again, good. We're here, I grab the foot. As I grab the foot, I you can grab the sleeve for right now, put your, set up your foot position, grab the, put your wrist on the floor, I'm sorry, your hand on the shin, okay? You fold it aside, and when you're ready to go, give a nice good bridge, all right? Let's go over this setup again. We're here, starting with grabbing the ankle sleeve, overhook the foot, and you switch immediately, okay? Once I'm here, get nice and tight. If you grab your bicep, that's fine too, but I just prefer the forearm. Once you grab the forearm, you pinch, you start yeah. turning it. All right. Good, good, good. How do you put your foot okay? Yeah. All right, let's see if you can give it a shot. So we have to give it a shot both times. All right. Which foot? Which foot do you want? No? Okay. Good. Set up your foot position. No? Chin on the other side. Good. Foot on the hip. All right. Now, what you're going to do here, let's do the first one. You grab your lapel, nice and tight, good, okay. Put your shin, get closer, good. Now you need to choke up on the foot, so you need to slide down, more and more and more, good, right there, perfect, okay. Now all you're gonna do here is turn to your side and bridge off the hip, go ahead, go, and tap, good, all right. Let's do it again, but stay seated, don't fall to your side, all right. So pull yourself in nice and close, Good, overhooking the foot, drop down lower on the foot. Lower, lower, good, good. All right, now once you're there, foot on the hip, good. Stay seated, but you need to be a little closer. So that's when you should have moved up, okay? So now once you're here, just bridge off my hip, bridge off my hip, yes, tap. Good, all right. Okay, so now we're gonna set up the figure four. So you're gonna start by grabbing my pant with your cross sleeve. Good, overhook the foot, good. And then you're gonna switch from, yes, there you go. You're gonna gra grab your own forearm. As you do so, you're gonna scoot your hips in close and nice and tight, more and more and more. Good, all right, foot on my hip. Foot on my hip a little tighter, good. One, one question. Yeah. Um, when I do that four, it goes from here to here. Yeah, right there. that's fine. Good. There you go. Now I want your foot on my hip. Okay. Now I need this. I need you to pinch my, my knee. Okay. So once we're here, we're going to fall to the side. Now I want you to bridge off my hip. Good. All right. Good. Let's scoot back a little bit. Again, set it up. I want you to grab the pant leg. Start here. Good. Swim. Good. There you go. Stay seated. Good. Grab. Grab your own forearm. Good. Keep this up here. Good. Now, grab my, yep, there you go. Fall to your side, onto your shoulder. 
and bridge and look away. Tap. Good. Again. Okay, so it's fun to grab your hand. Yep, there you go. Nice. There you go. Nice and tight. Good. There you go. Form. Hand on the shin. Bridge and look away. Tap. Good. All right. So that there is the figure four grip. We went over the grabbing your own lapel, one-handed style, grabbing your other hand, putting the hand on the shin, it's figure four. Now the last one is uh, just a double hand grip. Some people like to call it the tea in the saucer cup. There's your tea cup one in the saucer. So <laughs> we're here, we're gonna set it up. Hooking the leg through, overhooking the foot. But now I come around and place my palm underneath my fist here. Okay. But now what I'm going to do here, make sure I have good control of the leg. I'm going to fall to the side and I'm going to bridge and I'm going to give a pull with okay. my far arm here. So it's almost like a high elbow guillotine, the same grip, same style. Okay. If you don't know what a high elbow guillotine is. Look up Marcelo Garcia and he'll, he has plenty of them on his how that reads. So we're here grabbing the pant leg, slimming the arm through, okay? Tee in the saucer cup, I fall to the side, high elbow, and give a good solid bridge at the same time as I'm lifting up here, okay? So again, I'm gonna go over the setup, go gently. So I swim my leg through, overhook the foot, put your palm underneath the fist here. Palm underneath the fist, okay? I fall to the side and I bridge and pull up, okay? Let me do one on the other side. I think the ankles are starting to hurt over here. So let's take a look. All right, so we're here. Isolate the foot, I scoot in, I get nice and tight, I bridge and pull. Okay, so let's scoot back, scoot back. So we're here, I pull myself in nice and tight, isolate the foot. Once I get here, I'm gonna bridge. You have to put your knees close tight on this side. Yeah. I put, my knee, I put my knee tight and I squeeze. Yes, it's important to put your knees together in a pinch. Okay, so we're gonna have your neck go over it now. Go ahead. Yep, there you go. Pull yourself in nice and tight. Good. Go ahead. Yep. You need to be tighter on the ankle, higher on the ankle. One, 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 one. Lower, 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 lower. Look. There you go, right there, okay? So this one here goes like this. Good, okay? Don't hold your breath. You're gonna fall to your side, okay? Lift your elbow up, and there you go, okay? Again, let's do it again. Grab my foot, pull yourself in nice and tight. Good. Right about there. Uh, turn your wrist like this, good. All right, now you're gonna fall to your side. You have a good bridge. Nice, don't hold your breath. All right, one more time. Good, cup the ankle, swim your leg in. Good, there you go. All right, you grab your palm, good. There you go, fall to the side, bridge, tap. Good. All right, that's good. That's... All right, one second. All right, next up, we've got time for one more. This one's an easy one. All right, so you know, bring it over. Have a seat. So this one here, 
we have, I have two variations that we can do. It's called a toe press, okay? So it almost acts as if it's a toe hold, but you're only using one hand. This is legal at uh, white to black, but uh, it's like a gray area from white to purple belt because uh, some referees uh, will consider it a toe hold, but it's really not. So we're here. Okay, same setup. Pull myself in. Okay, I'm nice and tight. I isolate the leg, okay? But I'm gonna use my elbow on this hand here. When I hold on my side, I, I keep it trapped, okay? <laughs> Once I keep it trapped, okay, then I'm ready to attack, all right? I keep her, her foot pinned against my hip. All I'm gonna do here is push down with my elbow. I push down with my elbow and I throw my hips into it, almost like I'm arching my back, all right? So one more time. Yep. Build in the knee. Oh, okay. So we're here. I isolate the foot. I fall to the side. I have her her leg pinned. Okay. So as I fell to the side, my foot slipped off. All right. That's fine because I'm, I got her knee. I got her knee pinned here with my two legs together. So as I fell to the side, I got her foot trapped. I need to get my elbow to the top of her foot. And all I'm gonna do here is push, push down and look away. All right, so this one could come on pretty quick, almost like in a steam lock, but you're going straight down rather than turning. All right, so again, we're here. I set myself up. I got a good uh, isolation of the leg. I fall to the side. I got her foot pinned on the mat, okay? Now I need to get my elbow free. I put my elbow to the top of her foot. Tap. Okay, now as I'm pushing my elbow down, I can continue to hold the pant sleeve here as I uh, bridge off of her hip and I arch my back, okay? So again, we're here, I got the foot, I fall to the side, I got my elbow on her foot. And just like that, you have a toe press, okay? So we're gonna let your neck give it a try. We're gonna go from there. What side do you want? What side do you want? So your legs in, good, both of them. Good, now once you're there, you fall, no, you're not over it, okay, good. Hold the pant sleeve, good. You fall to the side and trap my foot there, good. So now I can't pull my, my uh, leg out. All you're gonna do here is push down on with your elbow and arch your back, keep going. No, you're not holding, don't hold the lapel. Hold the sleeve, good, now push down. Keep going. You have to get to the top of the foot. Get to the top of the foot. Yes, right there. And go ahead. Good. Okay, so do it again. Good on this one. Here. Swing in. Good. Good. Yeah. Drop your elbow. Yes, right there. Good. Now hold the pants. Good. Now you're gonna bridge away and push down. Push your elbow to your hip. Do it again, one more time. Swim in, up ahead. All right, once we're here, you put your elbow on my foot and you bridge, tap. Good. Okay. All right, so that there is a toe press with your elbow, your forearm or your elbow. Next up, we're gonna use our palm, okay? So here, Set up the foot position I want. I get in nice and tight. Now once I'm ready, I fall to my side and I keep her foot trapped. Okay, I fall to my side. I have my foot on her hip. I have my knees pinched together. Okay, instead of using my uh, forearm on her foot, I'm gonna get my hand to the top of her foot and I'm gonna push down, okay? Okay, so as I push down, I'm also pushing my body away, all right? So again, here, I got the foot, I fall to the side, I get my hand to her foot, and I push down on the foot, all right? So what I'm doing with her foot here, I'm pushing down, just like that, but, Right now in this position we're in, she's able to bend her, her leg, okay? 
when we fall to the side, my knees are pinching on her knee and it's got her whole foot trapped. Her foot's not able to go anywhere because I have it pinned against my ribs or her calf is kind of pinned, pinned on her ribs. All right, so we're here again, set up the foot position, fall to the side. Okay, once we get to here, I just put my hand on the foot. I know you can't see it, but my hand goes to the foot here and all I do here is just push down on the ankle. All right. Again. All right, we're here. Hold myself in nice and tight. I got the ankle. Put my hand on the foot and I push down nice and tight. All right, let's see if we can handle it. Okay. Go ahead, set yourself up. Swim in, good. Nice, pull herself in nice and tight. She's got my foot. Now she's gonna adjust to get to the, to get her hand on the top of my foot. Go ahead. Good, good, good. All right, once you're there, you're just gonna push down and tap. Good, do it again. Try to grab your foot like this. Don't squeeze your hand, I just squeeze my toes, but push down. Yes. Good, there you go. Now you put your hand on my foot. Good, now go ahead, push down, tap. Good, go again. Swim in. Good. Once you're there, put your hand on my foot. Nope, higher. You, you're grabbing the bottom of my foot. Good. And tap. All right. Let's see there. And I know we covered a lot today. Uh, you could just go back and watch it. You might be able to take some notes. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Like I said, the next three weeks, we're going to be going over uh, leg attacks and um, even some single leg X sweeps, okay? Thank you, have a good one.